scientists in our national parks, and they're basically testing it to figure out how heat gets trapped into the planet using this uh, greenhouse gas. I don't know if you've seen experiments done with sulfur hexafluoride before. They're used, they use it for a lot of things, electronics, and, and it's a very heavy gas. And, uh, you know, when you breathe in helium, you have a little crazy voice when you breathe in helium. But when you breathe in sulfur hexafluoride, your voice gets really low. I mean, it, it sounds it sounds like Satan. Yeah, you bring in, uh, you, you, just, you breathe in the sulfur hexafluoride, it changes your voice, but it can irritate the nose and throat. It creates uh, coughing, shortness of breath, build up of fluid in the lungs, you get pulmonary edema from it. Um, it becomes a medical emergency if you're inhaling too much of it, but it does hold heat. If, 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 used, uh, if you use a lot of it, it can hold heat over certain areas. And what they're doing is they're actually putting it in the lakes and streams of these parks. And as I said before, you know, I said, well, it, it is using very little of this SF6. But they're doing it on public lands, and it's designed to go on for 30 years. It's this study about uh, SF6 being a, a greenhouse gas that can keep the heat on the planet. So this, is, this, this whole study comes about at a time when people are thinking about climate, thinking about the heat. With a lot of them saying that scientists who understand the urgency of climate crisis have special obligations to set an example to the public by reducing the greenhouse gas emissions of their work. And so what are they doing? They're using greenhouse gases on the planet to test heating, to figure out how the planet is heating itself with greenhouse gases. So they use one of the most dangerous greenhouse gases out there. And even though scientists claim that they're using a small amount in their experiments, the fact that it can heat the atmosphere... The fact that it can heat the atmosphere with very little gas should raise the debate about geoengineering again and how they're, you know, how, how can it not yet be defined here that the effects of SF6 being used on the environment and how it keeps the heat in and how we're seeing a lot of hot temperatures. If they're doing it in mass, which of course, you know, give the government an inch, they'll take a foot. And they've been spraying chemtrails for the longest time, and now finally they're acknowledging them. Can you imagine if they're using SF6, and they're using it in mass, and they're using it over the national parks, creating heat waves and heat problems?